My name is Sean Chen. I'm a senior investigator at the Intramural Program of uh, National Institute of Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering, National Institute of Health. My research is mainly focused on molecular imaging and nanomedicine. My lab is relatively large. We have over 30 people in the lab, from senior scientists for, uh, to research fellows, postdocs, graduate students, undergraduates, and even high school kids. I work on theranostics, a combination of therapy and diagnostics. We aim to develop diagnostic tests and uh, target the therapeutics with the aim of targeting therapeutics to individuals' uh, specific disease subtype and the genetic profile. Developing platforms for theranostic applications raises uh, many critical questions. The most difficult one is translation of bench work into bedside. There is unique opportunities for basic science researchers and clinicians to work together at the, the National Institutes of Health. The clinicians raise clinical questions for basic science researchers to think over and they uh, uh, design their projects toward the goal of clinical needs. One of my recent projects was to develop long-acting peptides that would have prolonged circulation, reduced the renal clearance, and improved the therapeutic efficacy. This is really challenging. Conventional wisdom would be, would be to use a, a polyethylene glycol or PEG to attach to a peptide of interest. We managed to use MS Blue dye and synthesized a library of Evans blue dye conjugates. These conjugates use albumin as an indirect carrier to improve the behavior of these molecules in vivo. So because of the micromolar binding affinity of Evans blue to albumin, the reversible binding coupled with the high concentration of albumin in blood indeed extended the uh, circulation half-life of different drug molecules. We have now used this as a platform technology to derivatize a lot of peptides and the protein drug molecules. It potentially replaces peculation. This is uh, to us very exciting and fun. The research is always rewarding. The rewarding part is most exciting. So when you see your work published not only published and perished, but also uh, become useful to the community, to the medical field. That's very uh, rewarding, more than just actually a patent to get licensed. Distractions are everywhere. Work quality get compromised if you are interrupted. So I close my email tab and all programs, other than the one I'm working on. This way, the work gets done faster and in better quality. I answer emails afterwards, or need be, at the uh, top of each hour. I also have two to-do lists to keep myself organized. One is day-to-day -day activities that I have to get done. The other is for stuff I will do in a relatively longer term. Inspiration is mercurial and difficult. Uh, we all strive for the eureka moments, however, it does not come easily. If I set up a goal in mind, I read a lot, get as much information as needed before I mull it over. Brainstorming helps get me unstuck uh, by uh, jolting me out of the normal way of thinking. At the National Institutes of Health, where I work, it's a very collaborative uh, environment I found a lot of collegial colleagues and uh, researchers I can go to if I have any question, if I have any need of uh, working on a subject I'm not familiar with. That's why many of our research projects are very translational, have the uh, goal of uh, translating into clinic in a relatively short term.